The more I learned about nuclear weapons, the less I wanted to die in an atomic blast. Oh, I still want to die in one, but less now. <laughs> and it got me wondering, is it actually possible to survive one? Let's find out in a segment we call The Small Chance You'll Actually Live Through a Nuclear Explosion and Have to Go on Living Your Already Miserable Life in an Even More Miserable Wasteland Filled with Nothing But Unimaginable Horrors. <laughs> the Small Chance You'll Actually Live Through... It's a bit wordy, f <laughs> In the early days of the Cold War, the government put out videos with some friendly advice for surviving a nuke, like this one from 1951. There was a turtle by the name of Bert. And Bert the Turtle was very alert. He did what we all must learn to do. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. That's stupid. I'd just shit me pants. It, it's gotten me out of quite a few scrapes in the past. It, if you shit your pants, people leave you alone. You'll be in your bunker and people will say, don't go in there, he shit his pants. That's also how I got out of jury duty. <laughs> but if you're a coward and you don't want to shit your pants, you can still duck and cover. But I think maybe this video downplays the threat a bit. You know how bad sunburn can feel. The atomic bomb flash could burn you worse than a terrible sunburn. <laughs> yeah, 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 being blown up by a nuke is like sunburn. <laughs> You know how sometimes you go to the beach and you sit out too long and the next thing you know, everyone you've ever loved is dead? <laughs> it's just like that. <laughs> but even today, duck and cover is still pretty much the best advice. After an explosion, there's going to be fallout coming down and the fallout can be intensely radioactive. This way, everybody. But if you can get inside, that distance will save your life. Come on down. Why is he just leading attractive women into the basement? <laughs> he, he, he's like, he's like, follow me. No, not you. Yes, your friend can come. Uh, only blondes and, and uh, don't ask me why. Time of us are the essence. And no fat chicks. They take up too much space. And you, and you all have to shave your bushes. Shave all of them. We'll need them for blankets. Scratchy, scratchy blankets. Fancy fallout shelters cost as much as $3 million for a spot. But if you don't have that kind of cash, there are a couple of low-budget options. Bruce dropped all 42 of the old school buses into a massive underground pit. It includes two industrial kitchens, a living room, classrooms for children, and washrooms with running water. You really couldn't ask for anything else. Except, of course, for death. <laughs> Which, frankly, isn't a bad option. When it comes to surviving a nuclear apocalypse, people always have the same questions, like, what will we eat? Who will we f <laughs> And are the answers to both those questions the same? <laughs> My biggest question is, who the f still wants to be alive after the nuclear apocalypse? I have no interest in surviving a nuclear attack. But if for some reason you do, I made a new instructional video that has some advice a little bit more relevant for today's world. Hello and welcome to the Jim Jeffrey Show Guide to Surviving a Nuclear Attack. <laughs> First and foremost, make sure the bunker is fully stocked. Be sure to cover your food to stop those pesky radiation chunks. <laughs> there won't be any Wi-Fi after the bomb drops, so make sure to print off all nudes from your phone so you have reading material in the bunker. I keep mine in a three-ring binder labelled book. No one will ever know. <laughs> Don't forget your most distant cousin with a fertile uterus. We're going to need to repopulate society so inbreeding is not only fun but inevitable. <laughs> when the bomb is on its way, make sure to encourage everyone in your workplace to duck and cover. Then run to your car and drive away as fast as possible. The streets will be empty because everyone in town is stupid and ducking and covering. <laughs> so good luck in a nuclear wasteland, everyone. We'll be right back. Or maybe not. 